Which is better, soil or straw? Let's find out. Can I get a hoo While doing research, I learned about the Ruth Stout straw garden technique and decided to give it a try. The basic idea is that by using straw, over time, you create your own composted soil and you do not need to weed or do anything special to the garden. I started off at my local rural king store and bought a couple of raised bed garden planters by Tartar for $169 each plus tax. I also bought two county line three foot fire rings for $44.99 each from Tractor Supply. I live in agricultural zone 7 and I wanted to do a head to head competition between straw and soil in the same weather and same conditions to see what would happen. I started late in the season around mid-May. I bought straw from a local farmer. I left the packing straps on and placed four bales in each planter with the stem side up as recommended. I then broke apart a fifth bale and stuffed the contents in between and on the sides. I did that twice. Before planting, I prepped the straw by watering every day and adding fertilizer every four to five days for two weeks. The straw did heat up, just like the research I read said it would. They also said it was important to water the straw every day to keep it cool because the thermal reaction side could cause a fire. For the fire rings, I mixed a combination of store-bought garden soil and black cow fertilizer and filled the rings about halfway. I bought tiny vegetable plants to transplant from local Mennonite farmers and added them with a bit more soil to my planters. I also bought a couple of larger plants from Lowe's, specifically the tomatoes and the peppers. Here's what it looked like at the start. After one month, by mid-June, it looked like this. I watered both gardens daily in the morning. However, this year it's been a heat wave and I think the heat is actually cooking the roots in my straw garden. It is now the end of July and the early results are the soil garden is doing much better. I will try this experiment again next year and I believe when the soil has had more time to compost it will do better. And this is the after. This one's not doing so hot. It's not really growing that well. Over here, I had some stupid animal come dig a hole. Went to the bathroom in my garden. I think it was a cat. Planted some of those flowers in there to keep insects away. And I had to put these little twirly things in there to keep the animals away. This side's doing a little bit better. I had some insects eat every single leaf off of these jalapeno peppers. They grew back. Cucumbers. Some of the other ones. These are doing pretty good. They're starting to blossom now. I'm getting some sort of... I don't know if that's a watermelon or a cantaloupe, I don't remember. But, in this heat, that's what I got. And I water them suckers every day. You can see where they broke down quite a bit. Now let's go look at the dirt garden. This is the garden made with dirt. This one is significantly more fertile and productive. Over on the left, these are pole beans that I planted from seedlings. Down here I have some peas, snap peas that I put in from seed. And they're not doing that great, but they are growing. On this one here on the left, we've got regular tomatoes and then on the right, cherry tomatoes. I've had so many dang tomatoes, I don't know what to do with them. And here I've got Thai basil, had some cilantro there, and some onions behind it, and some more flowers. I trimmed the bottom of the plants about a foot up so that they wouldn't get fungus. They are doing really good. But every day, I have at least, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 of these cherry tomatoes to pick. And these tomatoes in the back are getting huge. I've already pulled about four or five of them off, and last night I made some homemade spaghetti sauce with them, and they were amazing. I peeled them and took the seeds out. And down here I've got some peppers, little snack peppers. But in this one here, I use regular dirt. I topped it with hay, and then I had also captured about 20 or 25 earthworms from under a tarp and I put them in here in the uh, tomatoes and I think they aerated the soil really well they're doing great so from my from my experience this year I think the dirt does better um, for the climate that I'm in however I think the straw once it breaks down and I have some actual more dirt available underneath it it will be very fertile. It was very. It was doing really well the first two weeks. But I think it got so hot. I think uh, the heat and the degradation of the hay that's underneath it. I think it just cooked the roots. But I'm not sure. I'll continue to experiment. But for next year, I think I'll plant one cherry tomato plant and one regular tomato plant. 
uh, because there's more than enough tomatoes. I'm the only one that eats them around here, so I can't eat them all. I give them away. But uh, the pole beans, we're going to check on those in a little bit longer, see how they go, because um, they're not fruit yet. We'll go from there. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, video interesting. If you like it, please like and subscribe. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. If you have any uh, desires for types of uh, videos or questions about the things that you see in my projects, let me know and I'll respond to you either by email or if I can make a video about it, I'll try to do that as well. So have a good day. Camera Commando out. Oh, no, sir!